Dolores, formerly known as Anvita, is the healer from the Infernal Faction. She is an incredible support, incredible healer late game specifically. You may get some joy early game, however we'll go over that now. So first up we'll look at her skills. Her basic attack is an AoE heal over time. She heals continuously for all allies within range. There's around two tiles from her, or the eight adjacent tiles to her, plus one out on each of the compass points. And it's 10% of her attack per second. Her ultimate graceful dancing has a 900 rage cap, which isn't too high, and can start with up to 400 initial rage. It lasts for up to 22 seconds, and for those 22 seconds it increases the attack of all friendly units within range by 30-40% to 40 of the caster's attack. So you can see where this is going. And her passive, 60 to 50 seconds after being placed, permanently increase the healing amount of ultimate by 5%, and her ultimate will have a 50% chance to increase the caster's rage by 100 up to 300 when it ends. So this basically just gives her a bit more attack over time and the ability to quickly reset her ultimate on a fairly high chance. To quickly look at her awakenings, her first awakening, her ultimate now grants 20% attack boost to friendly units. To me this reads like it scales on their attack. Her ultimate provides an attack boost to allies based on her attack, however awakening one grants them an attack boost based on their attack is how that reads to me. And that will be insanely powerful if that is the case. So you can see there's a huge amount of attack boost coming in and this is really what Anvita's for or Dolores. This is what an this is really what Dolores is for, just for this massive attack boost. Her healing capacity is quite low, and Awakening 2, more health, but her ability to boost attack is really, really dominant. Awakening 3, during Graceful Dancing, is activated, increase the healing amount of basic attacks by 10%. When her ultimate is up, she does not get the attack boost herself, but with Awakening 3, she at least increases her healing by 10% during her ultimate, so that helps quite a bit. Awakening 4, increases her attack by 5%, and Awakening 5, Increases the chance of increasing her rage after her ultimate finishes to 80% from 50, so that's quite strong as well. Generally, from her awakenings, the first one is incredibly good. The third one is decent because it helps out a bit. The fourth is nice because she scales on attack, and the fifth is decent as well because it helps her ultimate come up faster. But in general, the first one is really the priority. In terms of which skills you're going to want to skill up first, you will absolutely want to max her ultimate. It is vital to her. Don't use her without her ultimate maxed. And while you're at it, you may as well max her passive, though it's not as necessary for what most people use her for. Her ultimate should be up in plenty of time. But I would definitely focus on maxing her ultimate. It is well worth it, and it's not worth using her without it. As for her gear, this is where things get a bit trickier. She has quite a high gearing requirement, and that's largely due to where you use her, which we'll go over soon. But basically, she scales on attack primarily. If you look at her skills quickly, yes, she scales on attack for healing, so you could say, oh, healing effect or attack. However, the main reason you use her is Graceful Dancing, and Graceful Dancing does not do any healing, so it doesn't care about healing effect. All this cares about is your attack stat, and that's why you use Dolores to buff attack, so you need attack as a priority. You do not care for healing effect in that circumstance, so your primary stat should all be attack bonus across all three of your accessories. You should go for the Elite Mage set on the left side so you can get more attack and pick up more attack bonus on the subs here. You want to get flat attack where you can as well and you also want to pick up healing effect and some HP. That way your priority is attack bonus, healing effect, flat attack, uh, HP bonus is roughly what I would say is what you should be what you should be after. As you can see on the right side I'm using the Glacier set. This is because it increases your attack bonus by 6% of your max HP when deployed. So my Dolores' attack will be even higher than this. This works out to roughly just over 10,000 attack, which I think is a good guide if you're trying to build Dolores, especially for Guild Boss, which is mainly where she is used. 10k attack, if you want to be using her for Nightmare 3, is quite a good baseline to aim for. Attack speed does help her out a reasonable amount, and aiming for a decent amount of healing effect is good as well. So that is my recommendation for gear, focus attack primarily, pick up some healing effect, pick up some HP, go elite mage, and go the glacier. As for artifacts, there really is only a single choice here. You want to take gift of hope, it is a myth so it has good stats on it, and the skill that it provides you with increases your healing effect when healing a hero with less than 30% HP. When on guild boss this will be quite a lot and it will be very beneficial to have more healing coming out from her, especially if you plan to use her as a solo healer. So with that out of the way, where can you use Dolores? Well primarily you'll be using her in guild boss, but she can also be used in gear raids, especially gear raid 1, as there is a huge damage requirement there, and she is really what tipped the scales for me. So this is my weird guild boss team, this is not a team that I would suggest, I just don't have certain key heroes, but you can see my only healer is Dolores. And I will show you exactly how that works and how to use her. 
this is nightmare free so I place down my DPS with my highest DPS heroes stacked in the left corner like this and then my two self-sustaining fighters which is again not a normal team on the right side and when I place Dolores you can see her range covers my arrogance my Salazar and my abomination and this means that when she ultimates she'll be boosting their attack which is what she's there for and then I place my my range damage my marksman or my mages on the left also within Anvita's range and that is really how Anvita functions and that is what she's there for and you can see her healing for around 2.6k a tick which is quite a sizable amount I'll show just one more part from this and then we'll cut to something else so we're coming up for the second shield now and as the shields get stronger and stronger the further in you go you may save ultimates etc but that's all covered in a guild boss video but in this scenario I want to get the shield down as fast as possible and do as much damage afterwards. Dolores' graceful dancing will boost everyone's attack and allow me to deal massive damage to the boss. And you can see the shield goes down very quickly. And slightly wrong order from me but I was just trying to show off uh, Dolores' attack boost. That is what she's there for. You place her so that she covers all of your main DPS. If you have fighters that she can't reach then you may take a second healer. Or you may use self-sustaining fighters such as an Awakened 5 Wrath or a Volker. But generally, Dolores is here to boost your main damage dealers with Graceful Dancing. 10k attack is what I would recommend and picking up as much healing effect as you can. As for the other content to use Dolores in, Promotion Raid, sure, maybe. It's, it's such easy content it doesn't really matter too much. Resource Raid, you definitely could do, though I don't think it's necessary. Those enemies die so quickly. And if you're at the point where you're building a Dolores, again, she is quite a late game hero. You are not going to want to build her unless you can put her in really good gear then I think your heroes are going to be one-shotting these anyway and you won't need the attack boost. Guild boss, as we just went over, she is very dominant. Artifact Rage, she does not have enough healing for this to be a good option, nor is her range very good. So I wouldn't suggest her here. Maybe you could try it with a burst team to kill the boss as soon as possible. In the faction trial, she is, of course, workable. Other than basic trial, I would not suggest her again. In Tide, she's probably fairly decent, though Tide is mainly a measure of BP at the moment. As for gear raids, in gear raid 1 she is incredibly dominant, it's very very helpful to have her there to boost your mages, especially because mages have a long downtime on their ultimates, and maximising the damage from each ultimate is very very beneficial. In gear raid 2 she does not have the health, nor does she have the healing output to survive, she will die and everyone else under her care will die, so don't use her there. In gear raid 3 again she could be quite useful to help your damage, especially if you're using someone like Maul or Nyx, Dolores' ultimate will help boost them to guarantee one-shotting the wave. But I think absolutely one of the best pieces of content for her is Gear Raid 1. So I will quickly go over this and show you how my team functions. So if I just place down Vierna, who is my main DPS, who is my main damage output. And you can see I now have a group of enemies coming towards me. I'll just wait for them to stack up and then I'll ult with Vierna without any boosts. And you can see they're quite wounded, but not especially. Most of them are alive, or all of them are still alive. 0 out of 59 killed. They are quite hurt. But now I'll restart and I'll do the same thing. However, this time I will have Anvita down. So now Anvita's ultimate is just about coming up. Wait for them to get into range. And now I'll ultimate with Anvita. And if I ultimate here with Vienna, boom, 10 dead instantly, 2 remain. That is the power of Dolores. I keep saying Anvita, apologies. That is the power of Dolores. Attack boost is so powerful. It really helps these DPS shine. And for me, it was the thing that allowed me to beat Gear Raid 119. Without her attack boost, this would not have worked. As you can see, her healing is not up to snuff. However, this is what she is here for. She is here to help Vienna completely clear the wave. So D Dolores is really there for the attack boost. Her healing is just enough in Guild Boss because the requirement is not that high for healing. But primarily, Dolores is a attack booster. She is very slightly a healer, and you can make it work but mainly Dolores is there to boost attack and she is very good at it. So I think that's pretty much all that's needed to go over with Dolores. Once again, I would like to reiterate, if you are fairly new to the game, she is not worth building in my opinion. You need to kit her out in pretty good gear and you need to have her awakened and maxed and everything else because she is scaling straight off of her attack and that is super important. If you can't build her attack up, she is not gonna really do a lot for you. And also you need the heroes for her to boost. This wouldn't work so well if I didn't have a great mage, but she just she's like a multiplier. If you have a really good unit, she makes them 50% stronger for her ultimate duration. So incredibly powerful unit, very dominant in what she does, but as you can see, she is not a great healer, even with very good gear. 
So she is quite limited in what she can do, but the areas where she does shine, she shines bright. So I would definitely recommend building a Dolores if you are looking to upgrade your guild boss teams. If you are having trouble in gear raid 1 and you need to kill waves faster, Dolores is definitely another option for you to consider. If you are using her for gear raid 1, then the gear requirement is significantly lower. You don't need to go as high as this to make it work. You can experiment and try and slowly get her up over time. But if you're using her for, for Nightmare 3 guild boss and Nightmare 4 guild boss, then I would definitely aim for 10k attack. If you're using her in gear raid 1, then that requirement is a lot looser and you can just try and see what works. Build her for a, just for a bit of progress there. But once again, her primary use tends to be guild boss where the gearing requirement is much higher. So that about covers Dolores. Thank you very much guys. Take care and bye bye.